This isn't going to be like a lecture situation, it's going to be more of a dialogue, but we're going to have some amazing, amazing speakers tonight for you guys. Um, but before we do that, we want everyone here to understand in a very clear way why they're doing this, and there's no clearer way than if you, than if you speak about it, if you bring it out to the surface, and if you share it with another person, okay? And because it can be very noisy if we all start talking at once, I want to do this, before we really get into the meat and potatoes, the nuts and bolts of the actual program, I want people to get into groups, we do this all the time in the boot camp, so no different, get into groups of four, okay, four people, hopefully four people that you don't know too well, maybe, maybe you're going to make some friends tonight, four people that you don't know too well, so don't come with your group, don't just pair up with your group that you came with. And I want you to find four people, we're going to go out that door and around the building in a walk. And during that walk, you're going to express what is the reason why you want to do this detox. What is the reason? Do you want to kick a sugar habit? Do you want to get more energy? Do you want to lose a few pounds? Raise your hand if you want to kick a sugar habit, if that's one of the reasons you're here. Wow. Yes. All right. By the way, if I take the video and I pan it like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Let's have, let's have you wave your hands up in the air. Hello, hello. Yeah. All right, let's have you waving the hands and, and make some noise at the same time. Make some noise. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So if I do that, don't worry. If you don't like being on video, tell me afterward. I'll put a little black thing on your face. and You might be in the witness protection program or something. I don't know. Um, but we're going to get into a group before we really get into this. A group of four outside, and does that make sense? You're going to explain your why to the group. You're going to talk about it with the people uh, that you're with. So sugar, that's one of the reasons. Who's trying to kick like caffeine? Too much caffeine, too much coffee, too much Starbucks, too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my thing. Caramel macchiato. My down it's sugar and caffeine. Come on, Janelle, don't bust me out. <laughs> <laughs> also. Who's here for actual weight loss? They want to see some weight loss. They want to see some real results. They want to see inches go down around the waist, around the hips. Yes, okay? So a lot of people here for the weight loss aspect. This detox is going to be really about the health. The weight loss is going to be a side benefit of the health. So think of it in those terms, okay? We're about to hit 21 days. 21 days. 21 magical days. And it's not always going to be easy during that time. Uh, but look around you. There's a lot of support, right? A lot of support here in the room. Yes. Um, so we're, we're going to go over the why, the what, and the how of the detox tonight. So you're going to... There's a little paper here, and if you have it, go ahead and take this one out. And before I really explain what the Way of Life uh, Detox Program is, I would like to talk about what it is not, okay? The Way of Life Detox is not... Can you hold that up again? This, it looks like this. It looks like this. It's in the back. The Way of Life Boot Camp is not a juicing program, <coughs> okay? Nothing wrong with juicing, but this isn't a juicing program. The Way of Life Detox is not a fasting program. We're not going to have you just drink water for 21 days. Okay? <laughs> I did a one day water fast one time and that was tough. How about a juice fast? That, those are great, but this is not a juice fast. But you can incorporate some juice. Um, the Way of Life Detox is not a quick fix. The Way of Life Detox is not a fad diet. The Way of Life Detox is not and eat cardboard, drink lemon and cayenne pepper with cabbage juice, starve yourself and get the runs program. It's not, it's not that, all right? 
Uh, what is it? It's a clean, whole foods eating program designed for health and wellness. That, that's what it is, okay? In a nutshell. In a nutshell. I wanted you to know that at that point in 2008 is when I started to kind of relapse. I started going to Taco Bell because I was so busy. I started going to Starbucks. I even went to Carl's Jr. I took my kids. My kids lived at the daycare in the gym. And I would grab them and we'd rush off before my next client, get some Taco Bell drive through eat it in the car and come back. One time I remember we got a Carl's, uh, Carl's Jr. What's the advertisement? If it, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your in your face. <laughs> it's that sloppy burger, right? And my daughter had eaten the kids menu, and I remember we walked up the stairs to the to the health club, and the cardio machines are over here, and the uh, the weight machines are over here. And we get to the top of the stairs, and my daughter starts looking a little bit green. People are working out, and she goes, "Daddy, I don't feel so." <laughs> and she just throws up just everywhere. It's that. Ugh, that Carl's Jr. Bad stuff. Um, one of those light bulb memories. Um, also, I had an office, and outside the office was two purple couches. Right there, they had a coffee pot. And this coffee, they made this Folgers sludge. But they had that non-dairy creamer next to it and the sugar, and everybody would kind of do it. Everybody would sit around drinking the sludge. And I started to become one of those, one of those guilty parties. I was one of the trainers there. And I was sitting around drinking that sludge out of the little white styrofoam cup. And I remember, you know when you do something and you know you're not supposed to be doing it, but you watch yourself doing it? <laughs> and, and I was doing that. I was pouring in the sugar and pouring in the, that powdery, toxic uh, creamer. And I was, I was drinking that stuff. Anyways, my lifestyle once again started to catch up to me. I started to get really, really bad fatigue, cloudy headedness low energy, in between clients I would crash out of my office or my car. How is that to be a trainer? You don't have energy, you know what I mean? To, to train your clients and, and, to, and to bring your best self forward. That was when I, I knew I had to change. And I came across this book called The Seven Day Detox Diet by Peter Bennett, MD. And uh, there's a note of it in that packet somewhere. That book changed everything. That one detox, I did it for t uh, seven days. The first three days, I'm not gonna lie, were the roughest days ever. I took out all the coffee, I took out all the sugar, I took out all the bad carbs, I took out all the fast food. Once again, starting from scratch, but by day three, I had this moment of clarity and energy that I haven't had like in forever. I was just booming, I was like, woo, let's go, let's go. But day four, Ups and downs came again. Day five, a little more ups and downs. And then day six, the energy went through the roof. By day seven, I was like, it's a miracle on food. You know? It was really that powerful. And this was 2008. So every set, ever since then, I started to do a detox at least once a year, sometimes twice. Personally, I've never done one longer than 10 days. I've never done it for a weight loss reason. I've always done it for just health, reset my palate, reset my, my system. So we're gonna get into more of that. Um, before we do, though, just give your hand, self a hand just for coming out tonight. Thank you so much. We're, we're, we're very, very excited to have you guys. Um, we also have people all over the place doing this with us. I just wanna give a shout out on the little camera right there to some people. Maybe you guys put your hands together. There are some friends of mine from the Bay Area. Sarah Burke from Livermore, California. Sarah! Yes. Romper, remember Romper Room? Or it's like that old, it's way old school. <laughs> but they would say somebody's name and not know that. Rosemary, Rosemary Dominia from San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kelly Johnson from Redwood City. Oh! Hello from Redwood City. Kelly Johnson. Oh. Right. Got got Jessica Lewis, all the way from Catania, Italy. From Italy. <laughs> Jessica Lewis. Athena, Athena Marchesek. Hello, Athena. Hello. All right. And from the Palm Desert, Eve Weber. Hey, Eve, what's up? Hey. 